This video is sponsored by Canto. All right, so I'm going to show you how to do isometric projection in InDesign. This sort of thing is usually done in Illustrator or places like that, but I thought it might be helpful to be able to do it in InDesign once in a while. So we see this kind of thing, if you're not familiar with isometric, you see it in IKEA assembly instructions, which we all love so much. It's in Lego assembly instructions. It's often, you can buy stock illustration that's done isometric. Um, you see it in architectural proposals and things a lot, projecting floor plans, uh, buildings, things like that. Um, you see it in advertising once in a while. Um, so let's see how you would go about doing that in InDesign. And it's a simple four-step process. You just, uh, whoops, got to get out of that mode. Um, you just select some artwork, or I'm going to select all my, the artwork is created flat, is my point. And then you just scale it vertically only to the magic number of 86.602%. But of course, you all knew that. <laughs> And I just made it 186, so now I have to start over, 86.602. Okay, so you squish it, and then you basically take the left side and you rotate it minus 30 and shear it minus 30. And then you take this piece here and you rotate it positive 30 and 30. And then you take this piece here and you rotate it minus 30 and shear at 30. And then you just use, hold down the control key while you move these so that you can snap them together using uh, a line or whatever it's called. And there we go, we have isometric projection. But, wow. but wait, there's more. That's far too much work, so I wrote a little script to do it for you. <laughs> so you can download the script from my website free. Oh, and Here's what the script does. Not only does, it, not only does it do isometric projection, but I did some advanced math to figure out how to do dimetric projection, which is actually more useful. And so I'll do a dimetric projection of this. So we just run the script, it gives you a little explanation of what you should be doing, and then it does that, and then I select this panel and I do the that, and then I select this panel and do that, and then I select all three, and boom, it's done. <laughs> And this is in design, right? This is in design, so it's still all editable. You know, I mean, it's just, they're just in design text frames. So there you go isometric and diametric projection in InDesign. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.